Wow, here's one of those cars that you really have to open up to appreciate. When we started making the Audi R8 Spiders, 525 horses sweat in between corners, our mood elevated, and our opinion of this car skyrocketed, despite some unfriendly weather and driving conditions that up to this point prevented us from exploring the Spider's potential. We were first and foremost relieved to discover that the decapitation does not blunt the coupe's best handling car winning cornering. Thanks go largely to the chassis team, which reinforced the aluminum Audi space frame so judiciously that it weighs just 476 pounds, 13 more than the coupes. Rigidity figures were not divulged, but are claimed to be very close to the coupes. There's just the merest hint of some wiggle. Steering feel may be slightly less sharp than the coupes, and it's no Ferrari 458 Italia in that department. But when you're hustling it hard, it gives you no surprises and helps instill confidence. The multi-layer insulated fabric top and its flying buttresses origami themselves into the thin shelf above the engine in just 19 seconds at a single touch of a button when driving between 4 and 31 miles per hour. Cruising with the top up at 80 miles per hour, we only noticed tire noise, no wind noise to speak of. Cabin sound levels at that speed are claimed to equal the coupes. With the top down and a rigid wind blocker in place, the cabin remains conversationally quiet, but there's more wind than you find in cars with higher, less steeply raked windshields. One innovation makes its debut on the R8 Spider: seat belt microphones for hands-free calling. Each belt has three small, flat mics in it, one of which will end up near the mouth of drivers of all heights. Signals from all three seatbelt mics and one on the windshield header for those foolish enough to drive exotic supercars without seatbelts are analyzed, and the best one is broadcast, with sound quality reportedly like that of a hushed luxury sedan even as we motored topless. Spiders go on sale in the fourth quarter of 2010, and pricing is expected to come in around $172,000. Sure, that's high, but it does include standard features like LED headlamps, a Bang & Olufsen stereo, and seats that are specially coated to prevent them from heating up in direct sunlight. All things considered, we think this Audi deserves a spot near the top of the shopping list of those who need to work on their tan and go 193 miles per hour.